Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. I'm at the Goodwill thrifting. Let's see if we can find something to save money, make money, <laughs> just have some fun, right? So I started with purses. I started back here with purses. Wait a minute, I didn't see that one. Okay, no. And I did pick out a purse. I'm not going to show it to you guys, though. It's a political purse. It's got some political figures on it, but it's super cool. And I would love to show it to you, but politics is not a good thing to talk about <laughs> on a thrifting channel. The last time I mentioned something about something, whew, it got ugly. I hardly ever get any hate or trolls on my channel, but man, that one got ugly last year. Like, I think I even blocked somebody, which I hardly ever do. Like, I might remove a post, but I don't really block people. I'm not quick to do that because, you know, whatever. People have disagreements and then whatever, it's over. I mean, come on now. I argue with my husband, but I'm not going to block him, right? Anyways, it is super cool, but I'm not going to go there. So I wish I could. I wish I felt comfortable to go there. Um, but they have these books here, too. I think I'm going to get these. Their hard covers are only $1.99. So I think I'll get this and put it in the booth. It's from the Denver Public Library. It's stamped up there. And this one is from Sturgis, 2006. This is a Sturgis book. So it's pretty cool. I might go through it and see if just by chance <laughs> I happen to catch a picture of the eldest daughter. My husband hasn't gone for a long time. And, of course, Dad's last trip to Sturgis was in 87, which he did not make it back. So, you know, that's when he had his coma and everything. And uh, those of you that remember Pops, I showed you his colors, his vest. Let me see. I just saw a vest. I just saw a picture of a vest. Hang on. He had a vest, too. Where? Let me find one. Okay. Anyways, his colors. Wait a minute. Who's that? Let me see. No. Okay. That kind of looked like the eldest daughter. Um, but if you looked at the back of his leather vest, it said, Hallelujah Riders something for Christ. I'll throw a picture up, those of you that remember. Yeah, my dad's last trip to Sturgis was in 87. He actually was with a film crew, and I've got a copy of that. It's on VHS since it was older. I actually have a copy of it. It's cool. Anyways, I think I'll get this, but the reason is I want these CDs. This comes with CDs, and it's got a lot of good old rock and roll. It's got some southern rock on it, some really good stuff. So for $1.99, I get four cool CDs that I will use on road trips which hopefully finally I'll get to do road trips again oh yeah look American Woman haha <laughs> Ramblin Man Almond Brothers Bachman Turner Overdrive Steppenwolf Doobie Brothers heck yeah let's ha take a let's just take a moment Proud Mary by Credence Clearwater Revited <laughs> Revival that's what it should be. Leonard Skinner, Marshall Tucker Band. I like some of that Southern Rock too. Molly Hatchet, yes. Marshall Tucker again, more CCR. Shania Twain, okay, whatever. I'll get over it. Oh, Leon Russell. Awesome. Can he? Yeah, let's do that. That'll be fun. I'm hoping road trips will be back on the agenda. I haven't got to do any since 2020. Alright, so. Let's get this in there. I think I'll buy these for two dollars a piece. And uh, got my IKEA bag, my water, my iPad is in here. I didn't want to leave it out in the car. The purse is in there, which I would love to show you. It's so cool, but I better not start any controversy. You know, half the world is split, so let's not go there. But it's super cool. I made it through the clothing and over here. I'm not going to get this one, but I have sold these before. Maybe it was a little cheaper. This is Benish Ta. Now, I probably didn't say that right, so here's a picture. I think Denise bought the last one in a sale. These uh, average price is about $35, let us say. This one's got a few issues. I've seen some listed as little as 20 and some as high as 60 but we'll just say average probably for something like that is about let me just say 25 to 30 okay but anyways just so you know honorable mention on that but I did pull two things real quick I'm, I am going to get this one the horsehair pottery these etching on it 
And I think there's some paperwork in there, so that's even awesome if it has some provenance. I am going to get that, and definitely getting this. i got to be careful. I'm going to pay $15, but that's okay. Again, pronunciation, bear with me. This isn't something new for me. Varanese? Varanese? Okay, anyways. This is a good one, too. This is going to appeal to somebody. Those might be the three sisters. I don't know. No, wait a minute. These are different generations. This is really a very cool piece. That's probably worth about... Ah, uh, I see their prices anywhere from 30 to over 100 This one's a pretty cool subject matter for a certain subculture. So I'm going to guess about 50 and it's in good shape. Oh, I got, as I was going through clothing, I pulled a bunch of uh, Victoria's Secret leggings. They are in larger sizes, but unfortunately, it's been a while since I've done clothing. And uh, the price, the resale price has come down a lot. $9.99, that's pretty cool too. That doesn't look as important as the other one though, you guys. Okay, um... So I am going to put those back because they're five ninety nine a piece. I'm going to put them all back, but might keep those, the colored ones. I might keep those. I'll put them back in the right spot. Let's see this cute thing. Oh, <laughs> okay. So we're doing good so far. I'm happy. Let me arrange that a little better, and then we'll continue on. So lots of like Renaissance fair type stuff here. Actually, this one is a little older. If it was a little cheaper, it's Pacific, uh, Edmond, Oklahoma, nine ninety nine though. Dang it, there's still some room left on that though, y'all. This is cute, <laughs> four ninety nine. Okay, I got the piece I want though. Okay, I'm about to start chatting, you guys. Let me think of something to chat about. <laughs> it's kind of the end of the day. Made in Japan, not bad. That's not bad. There's a little bit of money left on that too. Not a whole lot. Not like it's one of those Russian Lossamov. I'll have to throw a picture of that up too for those of you that watch this to learn. Can't remember who I learned that from. I like to give credit where credit's due, but I'm sorry I can't remember who I learned that one from. Ninety-nine cents. <laughs> I like it. Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> there must be some place in New York that does this because when you watch a lot of like crime shows, cops and stuff, and the and if it's set in New York, they have these paper coffee cups a lot. <laughs> So I kind of want to look this up and see if that's something kind of cool. It's like a puzzle box, yeah. I'm not going to investigate any further. It's, it's already broken, but it's a puzzle box. Okay, now that's cute. A little carved wood, burnished. $4.99 though. That's, you know, like somebody's home, home thing. That kind of looks important. <laughs> I'm not sure how, but it goes to something. See, so you could put a light bulb and then screw that on top of the lamp, right? I don't know. It's interesting. I bet you, if we knew everything about it, that's probably pretty cool looking. Someone's resin. The resin, I'm just more of a fan of the old school acrylic and lucite. The resin stuff is fun, I understand, but that's kind of cool. This plaque it just doesn't have the same like quality to it. It's a vintage piece, a little big eye girl. It's that composite stuff. She's not in very good shape, but she might be worth something. It's not ceramic, it's like kind of like paper mache ish. Paper mache ish. <laughs> that was hard. Okay. Oh, vases. My favorite, but let's see. And we got some horse here, and we got some raccoon. 
Okay, I'm happy. Two ninety nine for Raku. Uh, could not be happier. And look, that's close to the Pantone color of the year, Peach Fuzz. So yes, on that one. Now is this a real horse hair? This signed. How much is it? Four ninety nine. It's just, it's a little lackluster for me, you guys, compared to the other one that we have, right? Compared, like, to the other one down there, the wedding vase. So, forgive me, I think I'll pass on that. It would sell eventually, but not for much more, because it's just kind of lackluster. I looked at that last time, it's new, just pretty. Another 80s color. Look in the back. Hey, this is class. That's $9.99. Not signed or anything, so it does look like a home goods piece. Yeah, I'm still turning the corner to the next side, but look. It's dirty. It's got the kitchen grime because it's older. Probably a California pottery. It says something, puss something. USA, yeah. I think I'll get that. That's cute. There's nothing wrong with it either. It just needs to have that kitchen grime off of it. Probably sat in someone's kitchen for a very long time. <laughs> so cute. It's very vintage. Okay, so here's what happened. Um, Becky at Yesterday Life Network, she found a Pioneer Woman rolling pin. Because you all know how I feel about Pioneer Woman. I will not buy Pioneer Woman or Temptations. But here I'm going to have to eat my words. So Becky found one yesterday. It's the red and white gingham check. And they did want $24.99. And she's like, whoa. I was like, ah, yeah. But we looked it up. And those sell for about 100 bucks. So um, she didn't want to get it because she doesn't really do eBay right now. And that's where that item should go. Especially if you have to front 25 bucks. Really should go up. Uh-oh. Raccoon. Really should go on eBay. Yeah, I'll take that too. Five ninety nine. Oh, that's pretty. That's very brutalist, but that's pretty. I'll take that too, you guys. <laughs> it's a raccoon day. Um, so I went ahead and bought it since she was sure, and I'm gonna put it up on eBay. Um, average price is about a hundred. I've seen some for like eighty-ish, and I've seen one sold for as much as two hundred. Now mine's not new with tags, of course, but it should be worth about a hundred. So. In that case, since it's an item that's kind of trending, it's a scratcher. Um, and I think it'll be a pretty decent quick flip. Then I'll go ahead and front the $25. Speaking of Pioneer, no, that's not, yeah, that is her. Look, Pioneer Woman, yeah, that's how she started out. Re, how much are these? $6.99, darn. Because you know what, that would be cool to add something to it. Pioneer Woman related. It's kind of cool to set my listing apart. Like if it was a dollar ninety nine, that would be worth it to add to it. But six ninety nine, I better not. That would be my thinking on how to make that listing stand out. Yeah. Koozie, ooh, Harry Potter. Ah, some Harry Potter stuff is worth some resale money. That's for sure. The Beatles, not a Beatles fan. I think I need this. That's not the Blanco Bullseye, but that is probably going to be something. This is a candle holder. There's a hole there. Six ninety nine. I'm pretty sure that's a yes, you guys. Those are cool. That's fun. See, I know that's new, but like, that's something you just don't see every day. And so I try to avoid, for my booth, I try to avoid things that is in every other booth. So I can put in a few, you know, of the newer items. I can do that. Just watch my ratio. So I did come in as a vintage seller. And that determines placement of where, what sections of the mall they'll offer you. Depending on what you're selling. Because, you know, they're curating smartly to make to optimize you know the shopping experience I still can't believe I'm gonna sell a piece of binary woman but I am <laughs> that looks like a piece of Lennox yeah, 799
Nice little Christmas piece, huh? I sure wish I had room. Maybe I will when I get done reorganizing for one of these inversion tables. This one's only $30. Comes with some free weights, apparently. I would love, love, love to have one of those. <laughs> like tilt upside down, stretch your back out, all that. It's by a window, you guys. That's why it's kind of fuzzy. Well, here's a look at furniture. No. Didn't really see anything I needed. Here's another one of those kind of 80s, 80-ish vases that are flashed on the inside. Remember the blue one last video I passed up on? Ooh, this one's $14.99. Life Network had one. It was blue periwinkle and it had like drip roses. Really pretty flowers of some sort. That one's a gunmetal gray. Theirs was $4.99. This one's $14. But it's flash on the inside. They're still kind of cool. But... And then that's a home goods vase there. Nothing too exciting. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a New York, an iconic New York coffee cup. Um, this replica is by HappyToServe.com. It says, <laughs> and they're worth about fifteen to twenty, depending on where you want to buy it at. I like that. I'm gonna get that. And a couple other things happened. Okay, picked myself up a pair of Stretch Levi's, definitely, and a nice scarf. I like this black scarf because the silver is more low key. Now this is what you you guys are going to be like, oh don't send me one of those. But I'm going to get all these buttons because you guys know I put things, crazy things in your thank you little packages. Look, Disco Diva, Disco Fever, Let's Boogie, Can You Dig It? So some of you will be like, oh, yeah I don't need one of those. <laughs> Just pass it on. I'll put it in who I think might get a giggle out of it. But that is very much me. I do like rock and roll, yes. Um, but I also loved to go dancing, so I liked the disco. It was fun to go out dancing. Not all rock and roll songs are danceable. And I don't think this is a repop. Let's see, 1996. It's a different kind of metal, too. I'm going to get that from my Coke section. All right, we did not do too bad. Always happy to find a cool pair of Levi's. These are the Stretch Flex. Um, they've come a long way with stretch fabrics, especially the premium, like in like Levi. You can't hardly tell the difference. I buy those for my husband too. They're about 70 to 80 bucks, but it's worth it because it looks like he's still wearing tough Levi's, but they're flexible and uh, stretch. These are girls, but straight legs, so I'm happy about that. Only $12.99. Yeah, I just bought Steve a pair for Valentine's. Went to J.C. Penney to get him some new ones. Had to drop 70 bucks. <laughs> okay, I think I did pretty well. I'm happy. That's not bad. So I hope you guys had a little bit of fun with me today, and I'll see you on the next video or in someone else's side chat. Bye for now.